Oh, Scott McCoy was Rand's record store, Cellophane Square. As soon as I got to be about 10 years old stuff, once a month, I got to go buy a record. And the, no, cl the, the closest record store to my house was, Pe was called Peaches. I remember buying my first record. My very first record, I saved up my allowance. I rode my BMX bike over to Rasputin Records, an independent record store. Okay. But first time I went, I got to buy two records. My dad said, you go through the record store and you could buy any two records. What was the first record you ever bought, Duff? Kiss Alive 1. Two records that I bought were the Bee Gees, Spirits Having Flown. Wow. Because they were, um, that probably dates me. And so uh, I went there and I saved my money up and I bought Kiss Destroyer. I did, and I bought Pat Travers, putting it straight, not because I knew who Pat Travers was. Pat, but the first record you ever bought, the second record you ever bought, was chosen because of the album cover. Both of them. Yeah. The, the co record cover was like him in a record executive's office. I saw this picture of this Harley exploding out of hell. And it looked uh. so awesome. And it said Meatloaf. And I'm like, this has got to be the most rock, cool record I've ever seen in my life. And I have to have it. I was so excited. Uh, back cover was the office destroyed all the gold records. And the guy's tie was all messed up because Pat Travers just rocked. So I think was great because it... Was it a big corporate kind of type No, place? no. It was an independent record store, a standalone one. Independent record stores are... Although independent record labels are growing, independent record stores are dying. Yeah. How many independent record stores are in the neighborhood that you live now? In the neighborhood that I, I don't know. I mean, you'd have to go to Fremont, right? From no, my house. They closed in Fremont. They did. They closed. Uh, including the one that's not there? None. There's none records. Easy Street Records. Okay. So independent record store. Independent record store. Which you're a big fan of. You like a record. Love records. Yeah. Love record yeah. store day. Loaded. We're going to play Easy Street Records for Record Store Day. April 16th, 2011. Go to recordstoreday.com for more information.